Greetings YouTube! The MCOC landscape, once you reach a certain progression level where you have a ton of rank 5, 5 stars, rank 3 and above 6 stars, is, is mainly just for units and rewards, but you know, it's just not that fun. And that's why Kabam instituted the auto fight, which I do appreciate, you know? But when you're at the top, and I am not trying to pretend I am, because I am not. Once you've cleared all content, you're kind of just waiting for new content to come out. Which is not that often. Now, if you go to my account, you'll see I have done none. Literally, zero fights of 7-3. Almost none of 7-2. And I still have a crazy amount of annoying paths in Act 6 to explore. And the reason why I haven't done it is because, one, I'm lazy and would rather use my brain to do monotonous fights in the arena for units. But two, I just don't have the uh, motivation. Now, if Kabam came out tomorrow and said the next title after Thronebreaker is Wallet Breaker, and you've got to explore everything through 7-3 and have a rank 4 6 star, to do it, I'd think, well, time to use my 50,000 saved up units, which is kind of what I've always assumed I'm going to have to do with it at some point. With that being said, with so many fights, auto fight, a bull, even though it's not a word, it is now, uh, it'd be nice to have a feature that just made those fights more fun. And what you see in front of you is seven hits on the easiest heroic difficulty start to this month's side quest. And what I realized is that the strikers feature makes this really fun. I also wanted us to open this uh, just for fun. On screen so let me uh, let me just show you what I mean so we're gonna take this red compass path and the fun thing is I don't even care who I'm gonna use let's just say Red Hulk right now I am going to do one hit and then Colossus knocks Nebula out you know like maybe you don't think that's fun but I certainly do and this is certainly not guaranteed because I parried to start it and the, the AI is pretty good. But if it's aggressive, you start off, you hit the striker feature, it's a one button and you see Colossus knock him out. And I think that's cool. I think that feels kind of powerful. And it puts a whole new spin on going through these normal auto fight uh, experiences that we have in the game. Now it doesn't work every time. We'll see if... Uh, they block this one. Nope. <laughs> but still knocked him out. I mean, I was doing that. I was kind of laughing because I just kept thinking, how cool, you know? I also think that these new uh, box sizes, which I feel like are the opposite of the new interface at the home screen, which is so small you can barely see it, didn't block that. This has been extremely aggressive AI on this one, which is cool to show, but not exactly... Uh, not exactly referring to what I was talking about before. Now, maybe I'll get sick of this, but right now, since it's so new, I think it's cool. And I think it's a great addition and a fun addition. See, he blocked at the beginning, but still took over 50% damage. Oh, and by the way, even if he blocked at the beginning, I'm unblockable right after that. So as long as you go forward and you know attempt any hits with, shoot, even a four-star... You're going to get him down. That gives some new enjoyment, some new purpose to these lower difficulty fights. Look at this. The boss came in. The boss went out. That was so fast. I kind of want to do it one more time on camera. We got time. What's up 20,000 gold? Which is $2 worth of gold. Let's try this... Uh, purple what up venom what up what up what up i still can't believe the sauron fight this month for uncollected with domino was so fun and I, I i've never with anyone could imagine taking out an uncollected boss who's around thirty thousand pi in four hits but heavy assault allowed me to do it Look at that. Oh. 
it's just cathartic. It reminds me of when I used to play Madden, the football game, the American football game, I should say. Sometimes I say football without American football, and the across the pond people get so triggered. They're like, that's not real football. You barely even use your foot. And I think that is really good feedback. Here's the unblockable. <laughs> That's so much fun. It, the combination of the unblockable, if they somehow block it, or just knocking them out if they don't, it, it's, it's I don't know how to say it. It's just cathartic. It's cathartic, and it's fun, and I love it. Now here's the interesting thing. Let's see if, if Magneto makes Colossus. Nope. Magnetize. Whoever thought of this at Kabam deserves a raise because it's one of the most ingenuitive features we have seen in years, and this game has been desperate for them for quite some time. Look at that. He didn't block. He gone. And now we'll just do one more. We'll see if the, the boss is ultra aggressive. We can just knock her out with one icon click before opening the Nexus. I also want to open those gold pool crystals I've been saving. I think it's would be a fun video to do it. Why not? You know, this is why strikers are like my favorite change to the game in years. Because even incursions has been so bugged. And incursions, you don't want to play incursions tender, right? You need a good friend or a good alliance mate, somebody you can trust, but it still takes a while. Like it, it probably takes half an hour. Um, not so much here. So we'll replay it because eventually I'll go back to it. But now let's open those crystals that I've been saving. And there are going to be some people out there. I'm sure who say, Oh, prof, you're being too positive. I don't think it's that great. You could do this for free. A free to play player, anybody who jumps in this content can enjoy this. Like to me, that's awesome. And if you don't think so, then I guess maybe you just need to realize you're getting to play a game that has way better graphics than anything I grew up with as a kid on a phone that if I told myself in the 1990s as a kid that this thing would exist someday, I would have felt either you watched way too much science fiction or it was like the year 2300. Even though 2300, I don't even know that's the year. 2300? Not 20 space 300? I know, let's pop these and get gold, right? Yeah. I saw somebody get two six-star gold pulls from three of those. It's the craziest drop rates I've ever seen. I still haven't even got a five-star gold pull from those, but uh, I'm not salty. All right, we're going to save the actual Cavalier Crystal for tonight's live stream. We will end by getting this crystal that we opened just now. And what do you know? My legendary one was all four stars, and this is all two stars. I probably need some tech ISO, though it's a two-star ISO, so it make a difference. Still cool. Again, I like to praise Kabam when it's warranted, and this video's purpose is to say, hey, keep up the good work, Kabam. I appreciate the ingenuity. I appreciate the new feature. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.